Today, we're building the smallest house ever, at least for us. We're thinking, uh, maybe just like four by four tiles. Ooh, who's thinking that? Well, I thought it was you. <laughs> <laughs> no. And yes, we can hear you all now. This isn't part two of Love Struck. <laughs> just so many brews. <laughs> we're working on it. Like, literally, it's in the other tab right now, but it's gonna take a minute. I'm not saying it's longer than the last part, but I'm not saying it's shorter. Oh, definitely not. No. <laughs> so in the meantime, we wanted to get y'all a video for this weekend anyway. Just like a little treat to tide you over. So here it is your bonus video. But before we get started, we have to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Yes, Wilbert Bud, it's time to check out your website. <laughs> Squarespace, you know them, you love them, because if you need to make a website, this is the number one place to do it. With their incredibly easy to use website builder with pre-built layouts and custom templates, you are able to create whatever website you could dream of, including our website for the number one whale in the world, <gasps> number one wilbertfans.com. You said that so fast. <laughs> I could say it even faster. Okay. Number one wilbertfans.com. Nope, not even close. <laughs> you do so much from selling products, sharing your socials, and so much more. Like showcasing your Whalebert fan edits. Oh, he's just so cute. So if you're looking to make a website, be sure and check out Squarespace today for a free trial. And when you're ready for your site to go live, go to squarespace.com slash Karen and Connie to save 10% off the purchase of your first website or domain. And that link will be in the description for you, of course. Again, big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring the video. And now... And now... Want to do a video? Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. So four tiles by four four tiles. Can I interest you in four by four by four? No, four by four. I think that's what I did. The inside's gonna be the trickiest part. So let's just do the outside. Let's just do the outside. <laughs> As they say, it's the outside that counts. I think we pick a door that lets a lot of light in because it's gonna be very dark in that space. This is your dream build. Just as many windows as we can put on this thing. <laughs> yeah, full glass house actually. <laughs> I'm kind of leaning towards the greenhouse stuff because it's got the really tall door and windows that match. You know what's great about these two? This window set also comes with the open window, which I think is going to be important in a four by four. Like I think ventilation is something we should really be thinking about. <laughs> so true. This is going to need to air out. Kind of like the idea of just wrapping this around the corner here. So we've got like one spot of light and windows and then the rest we've got plenty of wall space to actually put things on. That's right. Light in the front, cave in the back. Look at this perfect spot for a bathroom. <laughs> no. <laughs> we done a lot of metal and glass. I think we should bring in some like wood tones just to like tone it down a bit. Ooh, I think that tones it up even. <laughs> what kind of roof are we thinking? Anything but that. Yeah, absolutely. That's just wrong. I think it's time to give the people what they want. Do the people want a roof? <laughs> no, they only want one thing and that's a rooftop patio. Am I right guys? <laughs> no, no, no. You are not on their side. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> it is not me against everyone else. But you like that idea, right? I love that idea. Okay, good. I'm going to half walls now. Woo! How tall has it gotta be? Well, we should do the fourth one, right? All right, sure. <laughs> I just like keeping to the theme. Can we do the half wall trim that actually has that like little fence above it? We've actually got a couple. This one, it's fine. That one? That's not fine. Or this one. Just right. That match is so good. I love that so much. Now, how do we get up there? Maybe some stairs. And then maybe we can like curve them around, around the, the side, side of, of the, the building. building. Oh, I'm already doing it. In order to curve stairs, you just take this bendy arrow in the middle of them and move it to whatever side you want. And if you want to change the height, like if you want this side shorter, all you have to do is use this arrow and drag it up. It hugs it perfectly. It feels like I have a thunder jacket on. I'm so cozy. Okay, so what are we putting up here? Nope, nope. We need to do the vegetables first before we get to dessert. You got a landscape. I thought whenever we became adults, we got to do dessert <laughs> whenever we wanted. <laughs> Don't tell them that. I think easiest thing is to get a path that goes both to the door and the stairs, and then we could just fill in from there. I'm fighting against myself to add another window here. I know windows are your first favorite, but what about your second favorite thing? Whalebert? Okay, never mind. Would he fit in here? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> this may be your distant third favorite thing instead, but how about a plant? I'm totally down to like greenify this place up. I think we could maybe even do something on the back here. That would help with the lack of windows. <laughs> Plants are like nature's window. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I don't think it needs to be explained. <laughs> what about those trellises from high school years? I'm never gonna say no to Ivy. That one's me, I'm the tall one. Are you taller? I bet. Sound off in the comments, who do you think's <laughs> taller? And then maybe Connie and I will measure. We are literally the same height. We are identical twins. Who's to say? All right, mailbox, right? Ugh, that ruins the vibe. What, you want something like cat, 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 cat? Perfect. <laughs> 
actually think we could go with something on the side here. Like maybe this one from Snowy Escape. Okay, I think we can both be happy. I think that looks good. I think we need one other thing. Tree? Buys it down. Yes. Baby tree it is. Should we do like a planter box or something? It's not looking as modern as the rest of it, huh? Yeah. The tree's got to be cool too. Well, how about we give him a matching fence that we did at the top? Can we do that down here? We actually have the free matching debug ones from Dine Out. Of course they're in debug. Debug has everything. Woohoo. Have you ever seen a more sophisticated tree? It's not a tree. It's a tre. Tre chic. <laughs> Oh, we need a trash can. That can go inside. Yeah, no, we have so much space to fit it in there. <laughs> Finally, I'm ready for dessert. I know we just got done with greenery, but what do you think about adding a big planter box up here too? Oh, I think greenery's back on. <laughs> We're thinking just like a half wall here, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't be dramatic. <laughs> Don't talk to the build that way. <laughs> <laughs> it knows what I want. Oh, I like this. Might be a little big. And that's why we have the left bracket key because it's never let me down. It literally sizes things down. Okay, so it lets everything down, but in a good way. I like the idea of like a big seating something here. There's gonna be very little inside. So to have more out here feels right. Oh, the Desert Lux couch always looks so comfy. I would snuggle up right there. This bench from high school years matches this siding perfectly. So it looks like it's just a little built-in table. I love this dessert you've made so far. I'm gonna eat every bite. And speaking of food, we can totally fit a grill out here. What do we put over here? When in doubt, more plants. You're so right. I think we can just fit a little table here. Uh, no way. Oh, yes way. Hmm. It looks really good. I believed in you all along. What would the floor be? Zen garden? <laughs> <laughs> this rooftop is about to be just more garden and less about people. I like the idea that you could just like use your feet to like make shapes. <laughs> it does sound kind of relaxing. Ooh. Do they have a warmer tone? Yeah, they do. A surprising base game win. Oh, that's base game? We love to see it. A little bit of styling. My favorite part. Oh, big candle. I like that it's like circle, circle. How are we not going to put the mug in the book? Oh, well, the coaster under the mug is a circle, so that works. That all connects. All right, enough. You've had your fun. I'm doing string lights. A lot of people don't know where these lights are. I don't. You guys should just get you a Connie and then <laughs> she'll find them for you. If you go into outdoor lighting and scroll. This is where the little campers ones are. And this is the set that doesn't have the pole. This spot is still a little blank. Well, we fed the people. What about the plants? I think the garden hose should fit just right here. Do you think that stretches all the way up here? <laughs> they just spray it up and hope. Just gonna polish it off with a bit of terrain paint. And then I think we're gonna be done. Okay. It has no business being this cute. It's actually gonna be a problem because if we can't get the inside to work, I'm going to be so sad because I like the outside this much. Yeah, maybe we should have made it look worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time. Moment of truth. Inside. Inside. Lightning. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, for real, how big does the bathroom have to be? I usually like two by two at the very smallest. And how big is the bed? At least three. You can just have your feet in the bathroom, right? Or what if it's just all bathroom? This is just a really fancy public restroom. We never said it had to be a house. <laughs> I've seen people get away with a two by one before. But can we get away with it? Unclear. <laughs> I say we do that first just to get it out of the way. How does this work? I think we just pick the smallest option of everything. So that means tiny living toilet and that doubles as a sink. I got it. And we scooch everything as far back into the wall as possible. Tiny sink on this side. You have not put in a shower and there are no more tiles. I'm about to blow your mind. It goes here. No, it does not. <laughs> that cannot be right. Then we just have to grab a door and put it in the middle so you walk in on the shower and can technically get to everything. In theory. Prove it. Bring the sim. Okay, girly, no pressure, but there's a lot riding on this. A lot of pressure. We need this to work. Okay, first... Hey, one down, two to go. Now wash your hands. Oh no, you said this would work. Wait, give me a second, give me a second. Just a little more scooching. No way. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, two out of three. Now here's the real kicker. Let's go. Three for three. Wow, I had no idea. I didn't think that was gonna work in any way. It actually doesn't look too bad either. Oh, girl, mop that up. 
<laughs> now it looks far worse. Does this mean we're committing? I think we're committing. Let's get some tile. What about a simple subway tile? I like it. I think I'm even going to go with a dark floor because then I think that the white's really going to pop. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we can fit anything else. No, I, I think we can fit a couple of things. Like a mirror. Oh, yeah. I guess we got to get that. It's going to have to be a very particular mirror. A petite mirror. Oh, that's cool. Does it come in white? Perfect. Now this really might be pushing it. Push away. Can we put the tiny living shelf behind the toilet? We've got to try. It's called tiny living. Yeah. So it should fit everywhere, right? <laughs> Surely. Well, you know, it does fit here. I think this is so great too. Because not only do we get like a little bit of greenery, but this could be where all your soap and your towel storage is. Now we just need some soap. Uh, you scooted that into the wall. So it's going to clip. Maybe that's just the shape they made it. We could do the wall ones. When in a small space, everything's getting hung up. Oh, I guess we can put in a light switch. I don't think it's going to fit. Ooh, just squeezed it in. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so small. I just want to squish it. But we probably can't lose anymore. <laughs> any space. No, we no squishing allowed. Now I just got to fit a bedroom, a living room, a kitchen, and a dining. You first. I'm going to start with the kitchen, or we're probably going to have to do a kitchenette. Yeah, the kitchen. I think it's funny that kitchenette is a longer word than kitchen. I think it should be the other way around. Why do they do that? Mm -mm. It should just be a kitsch. We may have made a mistake. Okay, I don't think sink can happen. We just have to embrace single sink in the bathroom. I do think we could fit a mini fridge here. Oh, we got that new one with the login reward too. Oh, that's right. Everybody has this available to them in base game now. If you didn't get the login reward, don't worry. You could just search it up in the gallery. And here's what it looks like. It's called the Guerdon Goods Mini Fridge. Wow. wow. So you at least can make like a salad. I think we could do one better than that. Ooh, cause microwaves slot on a mini fridges and are still functional. This isn't a kitchen anymore. It's at least a kitchen. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I mean, we could put a... That's not the shelf I want. You're right. Who are we kidding? Today is not going to be the day where we make that fit. Ah, this for rent shelf. It's just so perfect. It's because it's got two plants on it. Yeah, <laughs> we were immediately biased when we saw this. Let's do the same light we did in the bathroom. Maybe over here too. Why are you adding a towel when we still haven't done the walls? I wasn't worried about that. I'm in clutter mode. <laughs> well, let's be in wall mode. We went really modern on the outside. I say we keep that, but we make sure it's light and bright in here. Yep, just like that. Unbid smoothness, always pulling through. Ani and I just love walls that have a little bit of texture. There's just something to it. It just makes your eyes dance a little. I think it's time for the bedroom. Stop calling them rooms. <laughs> it's all the same. Perfect fit. Oh, I'm thinking I want to fit a few more things than just that. I think we got a bunk it. I agree. Let's take her up. I like that metal frame. What swatches does it have? No, 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 no. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Base game, please update your swatches. Please. This is unacceptable. Super pretty, but maybe a little more boho than we were wanting to go. I mean, these are really straight modern lines. Yeah. And it comes in the right wood color. All good stuff. How are we going to get in the door? You can just squeeze into there. <laughs> That's a little shimmy. <laughs> the bathroom shimmy. How about instead of having the people squeeze, we just squeeze the bed into the wall. Oh, that looks like it's just built into the wall like that. That is so nice. We can even scoot it all the way back here too. I love how much space that gives mm -hmm. us. It's all about getting more space. An inch in here feels like a mile. <laughs> I like the idea of getting a table over here in the corner. So then we can actually have it double as a computer desk. Oh, everything needs to double in here. Is it just me or is the black marble kind of cool? No, it's not just you. I'm in too. <laughs> it's just us. We need a chair that isn't so solid. What's a gap chair look like? Something like this that just has like a little bit more space to it. I don't know about the gaps, but they're green, so I love them. I like that we're adding in pops of color. We normally go very neutral when we go modern, so I think this is a nice change of pace. Oh, there goes the budget. Wait, we had a budget. No, no, that's just what the sim that's testing has. We have as much as we want. Yeah, she has a budget. We <laughs> don't have a budget. If you guys are ever playing with the sim, the cheat is, and you guys can know this too, you put money, space, however many simoleons you want, and they'll add that to your account. Money, please. We've got kitchen. We've got dining. We've got bedroom. Where is living room? I think we can slot a couch under the bed. Not the Batu one. It's modern. <laughs> too modern. Let's back it up a little. We're doing a lot of eco lifestyle in here so i don't mind that one i want something a little more plush snowy escape is always a go-to you know that i think that's stunning oh wait <gasps> yep 
done don't even look sometimes something is just so cute the decision is made for you but what is the couch looking at whoever's eating is there a way to squeeze in some kind of table here it's not looking good what if we go console instead oh something like this maybe oh i actually love that it's got that negative space in the center mm -hmm. and we could kind of put it on the wall here and then it acts like a divider it does fit. Yeah, this is what you knew all along, right? <laughs> yeah, this is what I saw the whole time, yeah. actually. You just wanted me to see it, too. <laughs> yeah. The console table, so a TV is going to fit on it perfect. It's almost like it's a big screen when you get to sit this close. I can't believe everything is just, like, fitting so well. What about a dresser? Ooh, we could do a mirror. I like that. Mm. But... Is that tiny living dresser just small enough to fit in that gap? There's no way she's getting up that ladder. But it fits. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's gotta work. There's one way to find out or one woman. No way. It's meant to be. Okay, you were right. You're incredible. You're amazing. Now scram. Just a little clutter like the hanging plant. And of course, we gotta get some books in. Would it be us if we didn't put books in a build? Have we actually done a build without books before? I don't think we have and I don't plan to. <laughs> what a sad build that would be. I think we've got enough room under the dresser here that we can just tuck a couple of shoes. Maybe if she only has these two pairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the size of your shoe closet. We gotta utilize this storage for more storage. Storage on storage. It's like actors on actors. <laughs> kind of running out of space already to put things. <laughs> oh, but what about the trash can? Oh, we've got one outside. Yeah, that's why we put it there. <laughs> exactly. This was called pre-planning. We always have more room on the walls. What does that mean? I'm just gonna put some art up. <laughs> oh, nice. Johnny's favorite base game art piece. If it works, it works and it always works. That's the secret. I don't think we should do anything else. I think we're only gonna overdo it if we go any further. <laughs> we like our cookies underdone. <laughs> so true. <laughs> and that's the finished product. One four by four room house thing. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Somehow against all odds, we managed to make everything fit and it looks good. And I like the outside and the inside equally which i did not think was gonna happen honestly i would totally live here obviously it wouldn't even be hard but i do claim the bed so you get the couch you know what i'll take it it's just that cute thanks so much for watching guys we promised the next video is going to be love struck part two that also reminds me I did see some people in the comments asking when to expect the next Rainbow Townhouse video. Have they forgotten? Do they just not want to do orange that badly? No, we haven't. That one is actually going to be an ongoing series. It's like food court. It's not going to be every video in a row, you know? But we are going to be doing the next one on stream very soon. So you can go follow us on Twitch if you want, or you can subscribe here on YouTube. You know, just wherever you want, really. And a big thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to get a website or domain, you need to check them out. The link is going to be down in our description. Also, don't forget to use our code for 10% off your first website or domain. See y'all next time. Bye!